This is the weekly rundown where we cover rig counts, oil prices, and trending news for the week. And I'm your host, Greg Williams. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, wherever in the world you may be listening. I'm your host, Greg Williams, and this is the weekly rundown. It's like round two of the crazy weeks. Some are saying we are just before a recession. Uh, Chris Lafficus, director at Moody's Analytics, wrote in a report last week, Every recession in the past 50 years has been preceded by an oil price spike, and it is deja vu all over again. Billionaire Carl Icahn chimed in last week as well, warned there could be a recession amid surging inflation. I think there very well could be a recession, or even worse, he told this to NBC last week. He added that short term, he does not even predict anymore. So, let's see what our top articles are for this week. Kicking things off, um, by the way, our sponsors for this segment of the show are Clergistics. We'll share more uh, about them later on. Shell intends to carry out a new exploratory campaign in Brazil in 2023 with the drilling of at least two wells in the Campos and Santos basins. Uh, They launched a bid to charter rig. Some companies, however, have already informed that they are not available to attend the campaign. Shell does not specify the areas where the wells are to be leased nor whether the campaign will focus on exploration or intervention. ExxonMobil Corp. is drilling a new area offshore Brazil that could have as much as 1 billion barrels of oil and gas. Its partner Murphy said this this past Tuesday. If exploration is successful, it would be Exxon's first oil discovery in Brazil as an operator. Exxon leads the prospect in the Sergipe Alagos Basin, northeast of Brazil, with a 50% stake. It is joined by Brazilian producer Enwada with 30% and Houston-based Murphy Oil Company with 20%. Of course, Exxon declined to comment, but this prospect is called Cutthroat. If the name means anything, sounds pretty tough. Great Ship Jackup's Great Drill Chitra and Great Drill Chaya have received new awards which will extend their ongoing engagement with ONGC Offshore India. Great Drill Chindra has received an award for three years with commencement expected in late December 2022 or early January 2023, following a period of maintenance and repairs. Great Drill Chaya also received an award for three years, which is expected to keep the rig busy until Q1 2025. So a bit about Cleargistics. They are the team that is intelligently connecting the field to the office. They provide smart, value-driven solutions to maximize their customers' investment. If you have a process that is being slowed down or hampered by paper, then this is the team you need to be speaking to. Check them out at www.cleargistics.com. That is www.cleargistics.com. Stephen Toops is the president and the CEO. Nice fella, down to earth, really looking to help folks fix their issues. That's www.cleargistics.com. Go check them out. They'll get you sorted out. Sapion will launch a 2 billion euro, so that's equivalent to 2.2 billion USD capital to increase this year and sell assets to help fund a turnaround plan to bring the troubled Italian Energy Services Group back into the black. The company stunned investors in January when it downgraded earnings by billion euros due to a significant deterioration of margins on contracts including offshore wind. So, layman's terms, that means something fell through somewhere. A couple of somethings. 
The downgrade came just three months after Chief Executive Francesco Sia had presented the group's business plan. Asked about his position, Sayo said that he planned to continue working with his team. We see growing momentum for energy infrastructure around the world, he said. The board of Sea Drill Limited announced the appointment of Simon Johnson as president and chief executive officer. Mr. Johnson will replace Stuart Jackson as president and chief executive officer, officer, chief executive officer, with immediate effect. Julia Robertson, chair of board, uh, Sea Drill commented, on behalf of the board of Sea Drill, I would like to thank Stuart for his contribution in guiding company through its Chapter 11 bankruptcy reorganization. These have been difficult times and we appreciate his work in keeping the company operating in a safe and effective manner. So that means pack up, get out of here, thanks for everything you did. (laughs) We're also pleased to announce that Simon Johnson will succeed Stewart as President and Chief Executive Officer of the company. Simon has significant experience in the offshore drilling industry. Having previously served as Chief Executive Officer of Board Drilling and in various roles with Noble Corp, including most recently as Senior Vice President of Marketing and Contracts, Diamond Offshore, and Sea Drill, we believe that Simon is well suited to lead the Sea Drill team following its emergence from bankruptcy. Now it's time for our oil prices. As of Friday, March the 25th, WTI was at $112.64 per barrel. That is $7 a barrel higher than our uh, last weekly rundown. Brent was at $119.24 per barrel. This is $12 higher than announced on our show last week. And natural gas was at $5.57 per 1 million BTU. This is coming in at $0.70 higher than last week. So all of them are higher than last week. Our oil prices were sponsored by International Association of Well Control Instructors. They are a 501c nonprofit educational association. That's main mission. Main mission. <laughs> I can't speak today. Is to strengthen the future with every class, every time, everywhere. You can head over to www.iawci.org. That is www.iawci.org and learn all about them. For the rig count this week, for the North America side of the rig counts, the United States was up seven rigs to a total of 670, while Canada was down 36 to 140 working rigs total. Our rig count was sponsored by Relinks Media. If you're looking to launch a brand, reach more people, or just get some additional visibility, then head over to their website at www.relinksmedia.com. That is www.relynxmedia.com. Again, top tier visibility without breaking the budget. Just a reminder, all of this information and more can be found at www.relinks.com where our goal is to simply connect people. And that's it for this week's rundown. If you're interested in the sponsoring the show, then drop us an email at info at com. I'm Greg Williams, and have a good week wherever you are. This has been the Weekly Rundown, hosted by Greg Williams and published by com. If you're interested in becoming a partner or sponsoring the show, then drop us an email at info at riglinks.com. That is I-N-F-O at R-I-G-L-Y-N-X dot com.